Hello everyone, I'm Diane. Welcome to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a short video to explain the construction differences between my project bags. You see a picture but that doesn't tell you anything about how it's made. So I'm going to start with this one. This is my sturdy bag. I call it sturdy. And as you can see, it's quite stiff and it will kind of stand up on its own. The idea is that you can prop this up on a shelf and it will actually fit into an IKEA Kalex um, bookcase. The stiffness comes from the batting. I've used um, a bag batting. It's a kind of batting that's also used in theatrical costume design. There are different qualities of it and I choose the one that's washable, which is slightly denser woven and slightly heavier. The external fabric and this lining are then quilted onto that batting. The front panel, um, you've got the external fabric and lining holding the zip or encompassing the zip. So there's no raw edge of the zip there. The zip, um, by preference, I will use a, a coat zip. You need a sturdy zip to complement the sturdy back. And then I finish it with a wooden button, which is also a bit chunky. The vinyl I use is not your typical hobby vinyl. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit stiffer, but it's also a little bit stronger. If your scissors poke against it, there's a good chance they won't go through it. And then I have this fabric panel at the bottom. This is also quilted onto um, a sort of um, padded interfacing and it's lined. Front and back are then joined together with binding. And the binding is double. It's a double layer of fabric, just so that when you pick it up, you don't feel all the cut edges underneath. Now, the exception to this with the sturdy bags is if I've used uh, furnishing fabrics, they're just way too thick for all these layers. They get caught in my sewing machine. So with fur, uh, furnishing fabrics, the back is not quilted, only the lining is quilted to the batting, and the back ex extends and folds round the front, so it makes a self-binding. Um, uh, it's not a, a separate binding. Now, the other bag, same size. I hold it like that, you can see, completely floppy. And the purpose of this is it's very lightweight and it's ideal for traveling with. You can put this in your suitcase and it will just fit into whatever space you have available. The fabric at the back is not um, quilted. The lining, you can see the stitching there, the green lining, that is quilted onto the thinnest quilting batting that I could find. So there's a little something there, but again, not much and very lightweight. The zip is stitched onto the external fabric, and this is not lined. The external fabric is just folded over, so you don't actually see the back of the fabric, but you do see the edge of the zip here. And the zip is um, a more supple kind of zip, just so that it folds. And in keeping with the lightweightness, I put um, a vegan leather label here, which is very lightweight foldable. There's no panel at the bottom and the back extends, folds round to the front and is stitched down. That forms the binding. So those are the two bags, the floppy and the sturdy. These come in three sizes. This happens to be what I call my L size, 40 by 30. You can get an 11 by 8 Q snap in there and you can get your chart in sideways. It'll take an A4 chart, that's, um, or printer paper size chart. The other little bag I want to show you, oh, got a bit of thread there, <laughs> is my ABC Travel Pocket. Uh, again, the back fabric, or the back fabric, is not quilted, only the lining fabric is quilted, and it's quilted onto that same, um, very lightweight quilters batting. The, uh, the, this panel at the bottom is actually just 
a wrap around from the back. I've decorated it with a little button there, handmade with love, I think. And the zip is sewn directly onto the vinyl. So if you open this, you can actually see, I think, the cut edge of the vinyl there. Those are my three main construction type of bags. Uh, I do have standard sizes, but I also do make custom size bags upon request. If you have any questions, please do mail me or Instagram me or contact me somehow. I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching.